expect with these starters and a little bit crazy, but, um, you know, Basic has some versatility to him, which is good for Manny Act and Randy St. Clair. And I think Don made the point earlier, Debbie, now that we're into this stage of the ball game, hopefully Mike Basic sits there all day and just enjoys the scenery because the rest of the bullpen is fairly well rested and John Lennon, he might just get six innings in today. Yeah, Who knows? If he, if he can get a, a nice, easy one, two, three here and get the next inning out of the way, the next inning should be an easier one for him. But I think in this whole ball game right now to this point, this is the key inning for John Lennon. He has one out. Chase Utley's two for two against him, and he has him 0-2. And, and he hits him. And Utley's going to look at the rookie pitcher a couple of times on his way to first base. We saw last year that Chase Utley doesn't react real well to getting hit. Well, he dives into the ball. You know, he's a guy that uh, you can you can tell he dives in because that's the 17th time he's been hit by a pitch. Yeah. That time he locked he locks himself up. He commits, and when he strides, he's got no place else to go. Got him out with a curveball, Howard. That is the first time. Maybe time to showcase him another pitch, just to let you know, let him know you have another one. Gets it, and they throw the rookie pitcher out of the game. You can't do that. In his major league debut, Hunter Wendelstead has thrown John Lennon out of this game. That is a blatant overreaction. There is no way a kid making his major league debut is going to deliberately throw at two guys in in the uh, lineup. And Manny Act is making that argument. That is ridiculous. It is a blatant overreaction by Hunter Wendelstad. Sometimes umpires don't use any common sense in knowing what the heck is going on in the game. This is absurd. This is a three to two game and he's going to go through. Manny is pointing to the scoreboard. That's he right. says it's three to two. Why would we do that? He's wasting his time making a logical argument to a guy who just made a snap judgment emotional decision and a bad one. It's a it's a ridiculous decision. Sometimes umpires and this may not be the case here and I have great respect for Hunter Wendelstad get caught up in the authority handed to them. But somewhere along the way you take the rule book you stick it in your ear and you use common sense. There is no common sense being used in this decision. It's absurd. And now Manny Act has been thrown out of the game when he wasn't even looking at the umpire. Now you're compounding an already bad decision. It's almost like you're covering up your tracks. Manny Acta was standing on the mound talking with Flores and Lopez. You know, Manny might be trying to decide who can I bring into the game right now? And Hunter Wendelstedt throws him out for not getting a pitcher out. No, I think that it has something else to do with that. Manny Acta is defending his young pitcher and he's defending him because of a bad decision made by an umpire who's been around long enough to not make this kind of bad decisions. OK, fair foul, you can guess. Ball strike, you can guess. You cannot guess and just presume to know the intent of a kid making his major league debut. You've got to think that through, and this is a bad decision. And the wonderful fans of Philadelphia will have a field day with Manny Acta when he leaves this field. You just wait. Unbelievable. Chris Schroeder walking in for the bullpen. Unbelievable. That's Hunter Wendelstad. He has been the man center stage in the goings on for the last few minutes. One quick out from Shane Victorino, then a fastball inside to Utley. <laughs> Gets him on the hand and immediately coming up is Ryan Howard. And they want a fastball up there and that gets him and gets him on the leg and immediately without hesitation a good umpire makes a terrible decision. You've got to think it through. Your job as a home plate umpire is to control the ball game. 
But you look out there and you see a kid who is spending only, what, three years in pro ball, just being called up. Manny is trying to tell him, look at the scoreboard. It's a 3-2 ball game. It's a kid. Yeah, okay, we're going to put some go-ahead runs on base. And Manny acted, did what he had to do. He's defending a young pitcher who got the, who just got a raw deal from a guy who, he's a better umpire and should know better than that. Well, you can't throw somebody out of a game for hitting somebody. You can only throw them out for intentionally that's hitting exactly somebody. Right. And that's what Hunter Wendell said is saying that a rookie pitcher making his major league debut intentionally hit Chase Utley and Ryan Howard when the score is three to two. And I, all I can tell you is a good umpire just made a horrible decision and tried to play God. And I guess at this moment he is. So Chris Schroeder would get all the time he needs to warm up. Pat Corrales in charge of the ball club. John Lannon will go four and a third. Six hits, two walks, one strikeout, a double play, a homer, two hit batters, and ejected. Well, the only thing I can think of is that uh, it's another first for me. It's the first time I've ever seen a rookie pitcher kicked out of his debut. See, that's that's what I mean, and, and I'll get off my soapbox in a minute. But uh, bear with me for a minute. That's why I say as umpires, you've got to know what's going on. Common sense will tell you he was not deliberately throwing at Ryan Howard. Aaron Rowan, the hitter. We'll show you on our Toyota League leaderboard in a little while what we were talking about. Remember, we said about Chase Utley getting hit with pitches. There are a couple guys in this lineup that get hit with pitches. And well, let's let's look at the list now on our Toyota League leaders. Utley was 17, Rowan with 14. A surprising name for me on that is Aaron Boone, who hasn't gotten that many at bats, but that's the top five hit by pitch. And the other interesting thing is the count was 0-2 on Utley when he was hit. Was that intentional? Now, supposed to set it on a tee and tell him it's coming. If you can't pitch inside, how can you pitch? Now, those pitches were up and in. They certainly were. But to a certain extent in Major League Baseball, the umpires have taken away the pitcher's ability to pitch inside. Good thing Aaron Rowan swung or Schroeder might be thrown out. No, it wouldn't happen now. You don't you, you watch it wouldn't it would not happen now. Because so much heat was brought onto that situation. The slack is cut now. It wasn't cut when it should have been cut. One ball and one strike to Rowan who bounced into one double play today. That's a strike. Chris Schroeder's making his presence felt. We have said so many times this year about what a job the bullpen has done and how they picked up the starters and picked up this ball club. But Chris Schroeder is one of those guys. It seems like every time he goes out there, he gets more confident. He gets better at what he's doing, and he has saved that bullpen a lot of innings. A 156 earned run average for the young man. Inning and a third with two scoreless, or rather a scoreless. Inning at a third with two strikeouts last night. 